So far, I've shown you how to boot the Galaxy A series into the special Android boot modes, but today we'll be taking things a bit further. I have the Galaxy A13 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader for the entire Galaxy A series from Samsung. Unlocking the bootloader seems to be confused with a SIM unlock, but these are two different things. Unlocking the SIM of a smartphone lets you use it on other mobile carriers, but unlocking the bootloader will let you install non-Samsung code on the device. Examples include Majisk and TWRP. But before we can begin with this tutorial, we first need to enable a hidden settings menu called Developer Options. This is referred to as Developer Mode, and if you're not familiar with how this is done, be sure to check the video description below as I have covered this process at length in previous tutorials here on the channel. So with the hidden Developer Options menu revealed, we can then enable a special toggle labeled OEM Unlocking. You can see it is right here up at the top. And this is a security layer put into Android by Google to make sure that whoever wants to unlock the bootloader can actually boot into the Android operating system and bypass the lock screen. If you are not seeing this toggle here in the Developer Options menu, then you likely purchased the smartphone from a mobile carrier and they are blocking you from unlocking the bootloader, not Samsung. I have seen paid services that can bypass this restriction, but more often than not, if you don't see this toggle here, then you're not going to be able to unlock the bootloader to that device. So we can enable this by simply tapping on that toggle and then confirming that we want to enable OEM unlocking. This needs to be done before we can proceed with this tutorial. Once that toggle has been enabled, we can then boot the device into download mode using the USB cable method. This is something I did a video on just last week, so if you're not familiar with how to boot the Galaxy A series into download mode, then again, I recommend you check the video description for the link to that guide that will walk you through the entire process. As long as you have OEM unlocking enabled, and you use the USB cable method to boot into download mode, you're going to be taken to this screen where we can press, we can long press the volume up button to begin the device unlock process. And we are able to unlock the bootloader for the Galaxy A13, the Galaxy A23, the Galaxy A33, the Galaxy A53, and the Galaxy A 73 smartphones. Once we get to this confirmation screen, you can see here we are being asked if we want to unlock the bootloader. So we can press the volume up button to confirm yes, or we can still cancel out, back out, and boot back into Android by pressing the volume down button. We are going to confirm this bootloader unlock so we are going to press the volume up button. Shortly after pressing that button, you're going to see the Galaxy A series phone reboot. And you're going to see that, not really a warning screen, but a information screen whenever we boot up to remind you that the bootloader has been unlocked. We just need to press the power key to continue through the boot process, or if you wait a little bit, it will bypass the screen on its own. Now 
as you saw, unlocking the bootloader is going to do a factory data reset on our device. So it is going to erase everything we've had on the phone. Not only that, but you're going to notice that this first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal since we have just done the factory data reset. We just need to be patient during this boot cycle and then go through the Android activation screen when it appears. I'm just going to skip through this Android activation screen and get us back into the home screen of Android. Now, in order to check to make sure that you have indeed unlocked the bootloader, we're going to need to connect to a Wi-Fi network or a mobile data network. And then we need to enable developer mode again. And this time, when we go into the developer options menu, again, we are going to see that OEM unlocking toggle up toward the top, but as you can see, it has been grayed out and we're being told that the bootloader is already unlocked. Now, if you're checking the developer options menu before you have connected to a Wi-Fi network or a mobile data network, then this toggle is likely not going to be visible. It's only after you connect the phone to the internet and possibly check for a Samsung firmware update using the software update option here. But once the phone has registered with the Samsung service, then you should see this grayed out OEM unlocking toggle there. Now that we have unlocked the bootloader of the Galaxy A13, we can now install unofficial code on the device, meaning we can put code in the Android file system that was not released by Samsung themselves. This will allow us to install Majisk to gain root access, to install TWRP to have a custom recovery, and much more. I have a playlist here on my YouTube channel dedicated to all of the things that we can do once we have root access to Android.